morning, my fellow Dreadhidians. Uh, so I just wanted to make a quick little video today um, to talk about how you can remove the tarnish from your metal beads. Um, a lot of you really like the old world kind of tarnished patina style on some of these copper and brass beads, but um, there's others that would, you know, like the metal to maintain its, its pretty copper look, you know, its new look. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do that really quickly and really easily and with no special polishes or anything like that. Um, there's a lot of videos online about how to do this with ketchup, uh, but in my personal opinion that's really messy and gross and some of these beads have such small details on them I don't really see how you would be able to get all the ketchup out. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can use a regular uh, dishwashing cube. This one I think is Cascade uh, to, to do the same thing. So basically I have a hot glass of water and I have a Cascade cube and I just put it in there. And then you wait for it to dissolve really nicely. Um, I don't know, maybe wait five minutes for it just to kind of, you know, get in there. Uh, I need to go get a spoon. So as you can see, it's starting to dissolve in the hot water. Um, so I'm just going to stir it up a little bit just to kind of mix up all of the tablet. Then it doesn't have to be, you know, completely dissolved. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the bead in just like that. And then, ah... Uh, you could probably let it sit in there for maybe five, ten minutes. Um, so we'll let that sit. We'll see what happens. And I will be back. Alright, so it's been about ten minutes. And as you can see, our dread bead is already starting to lose its tarnish. Here is the one we put in the solution. And here is the one that was left out of the solution. And I'll add a photo so you can see that a little bit better. But... Yeah, if you, you know, there's still just a little bit of tarnish left on this one. So you can leave it in to soak however long you want to. But the key is, and this is very important, you need to make sure that when you're done soaking this in this solution, you wash it really well with soap and water. Because there's vinegar in this. And vinegar is partly what gets the tarnish off of this, these coils. And if you don't rinse the vinegar, vinegar off properly, you can actually... Um, it, it will actually continue the process and it can actually go in reverse and ruin the bead um, by eating away at it too much. Um, so yeah, as soon as it's done in this solution, wash it with hot soapy water and voila, you've got a fresh bead just like the day I sent it to you. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and uh, I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you very much. Uh, just message me if you have any additional questions.